Virginia Tech is a leader in robotics and autonomous systems because of our capabilities, primarily because of our faculty in this area. To be a leader, you have to have the fundamental expertise in those areas, but also have the know-how and a vision of where that research direction is going. Historically, we had this strength in the department and we developed several laboratories that focus on a range of robotics and autonomous systems, starting from bio and micro systems, going all the way to macro and large systems that comprise large number of robots and vehicles cooperating and collaborating with each other. We have a variety of research uh, taking place at the Unmanned Systems Lab. We work in public safety, that's nuclear forensics, that's search and rescue drones. We do some agricultural monitoring. We do infrastructure inspection and mapping. We've also got hardware integration, uh, unique hardware payloads that we're experimenting with or going into novel aircraft that we design and build ourselves. Uh, there's controls research going on to look at upset scenarios of aircraft and how we can prevent hazards if aircraft lose control. And most importantly, we're working on detect and avoid research, which is going to help us integrate unmanned aircraft into the national airspace safely. I think in any, any area of research, it's important to consider the human aspects of that research. In the area of robotics, and particularly autonomous vehicles or autonomous robots, it's important to, to aim for challenges that are overcoming a, a human need. Recently, we've had the opportunity to work with UNICEF and test a very unique aircraft that we designed in the lab called Ecosoar. This aircraft was designed to be operated in low resource environments, operated, maintained, and fabricated all in Malawi for a price of $350. And we ran a two-day workshop with 13 students that built five aircraft. One of these teams of students were able to fly this aircraft fully autonomously in a test in Kinsungu, and then we delivered simulated dried blood spot samples from a healthcare clinic 19 kilometers away back to the airport. In mechanical engineering department, we particularly are interested in expanding the hands-on experience of the students. In the area of autonomy and, and robotics, we particularly introduced a new undergraduate laboratory for robotics and mechatronics. This is uh, the Terrestrial Robotics Engineering and Controls Lab. Humanoid Robots is a research that we have pursued at Virginia Tech for more than 10 years, uh, and uh, it summarizes uh, to the design of robots that uh, mimic the behavior of the human body, both in uh, functionality and in shape. And uh, hence, uh, some of the challenges is to actually make them walk, like human walk, make them use their arms for manipulation tasks, like we would use our arms, and so on and so forth. Robotic systems and humanoid are not different from those, uh, are just characterized by a, a mix of mechanical, electrical, uh, software and computer challenges. And, uh, and in, a, in a robotic uh, uh, platform like a humanoid robot, those challenges all come together trying to achieve uh, the speed, uh, the agility of uh, a system of a platform that is uh, as similar as to behavior of a human body as possible. In my lab, which is called Autonomous Systems and Intelligent Machines Lab, we work on a couple of different areas. One is cooperative perception and multiple vehicles working together. And you can imagine a lot of different areas of safety that can be addressed by that. And another is really working on the interface with the driver. So how does autonomy interfaces with the driver? How do we address challenges that that will help the drivers to have a safer environment and consider the driver's needs in the era of autonomy. Virginia Tech and, and the educational experiences that uh, we're uh, providing the students make them excellent, excellent employees. Uh, we are teaching them train, uh, teaming, uh, we're teaching them to work together, we're teaching them uh, agile uh, management styles that they get tasks done on time. Uh, this is uh, a unique experience for many of these students. I think collectively Virginia Tech offers something that no other institution can really come uh, to this level of sophistication in autonomous driving and, and testing evaluation and development of systems for autonomous driving. Our vision is to be the premier institution in the area of intelligent infrastructure for human-centered communities 
part of which is autonomous vehicles and robots.